Sheen Murphy, you rode Telecaster to victory at York last week. How impressed were you with that performance? Super run. I thought he relaxed pretty well mid-race and he picked up strongly in the straight. Two down hot was the best two-year-old we've seen since Frankel. He's going to come back to a mile for the St James's Palace Stakes. Although Telecaster is bred to stay a mile and a half, I genuinely believe it might also bring out some more improvement. He's out of an oak second by a derby winner. Huey and the owners haven't yet decided whether he will take his chance at Epsom. We'll find out in the next couple of days, I assume. But hopefully he stays in one piece because he's a very exciting horse. Are you at all surprised by that performance of the day? I was a little bit because I thought it was, you know, on figures it was a huge run. It was pretty good time. But Huey taught the world of the horse. He obviously galloped him with Marmelo early on in the year and he showed a fair bit that morning and he's done it at the races as well. And obviously if they do make the decision to supplement it for the derby, you'll be on board? Yeah, I'd hope so. Um, you know, the owners are pretty kind to me and I'd love to keep the partnership going through the year. Sheikh Fad, although I'm retained by Qatar Racing, and likes to see me riding top class horses and uh, I must say I'm in a very privileged position. And just looking ahead to that, that whole Investec Derby Festival, what other horses might you be looking forward to riding? Yes, yeah, Saloon is going to take his chance in the Coronation Cup. It was a super comeback run in the listed race at Ascot. He ran very well in a pre de the Triumph last year and it'd be great to see him win a Group 1 for a smaller trainer, Sylvester Kirk, who's done a fantastic job with the horse. Machine, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.